The second installment of the Asian English products is here. This is Duelist Nexus. Let's get into it. All right, so this is a first edition Duelist Nexus box. The way that you know it's first edition is it has this indicator here for a bonus pack. I think that this is a great way to do first edition in my opinion. It's honestly better than the cards because that way like you don't have as much elitism with the cards. It's just it exists only on like the you know sealed side and not a lot of people in the Yu-Gi-Oh world deal with that. So I think that's a really good way to cater to both the collector as well as the player base. Now let's get into it real quick. Again, we have that amazing OCG wrapping and we have amazing OCG cards on the inside, right? Because like the, the reason that I love Asian English so much is like we get that Japanese card stock on English cards, just unbeatable combination in my opinion. So let's open up this bonus pack from here. I don't really think I want too much, maybe like shooting Quasar Dragon um, in terms of like the quarter century secret rares. The main card that I want from here pretty much comes in the set and that is the Magicians of Bonds and Unity. I think that that is the most important card. I was super excited for it in the English release, but as you guys saw, the quality control was atrocious. I decided to skip it. And now I'm super excited for the Asian English release because I get the exact same card in way better quality. Now let's open up the bonus pack and it's just a super rare. We're not as lucky this time. Let's go into the packs real quick. So in this one, they decided to add some more quarter centuries and they're all quarter centuries that I'm really happy about. You guys remember when I unboxed this set where it was like a whole case I said like I wish they made like the Chimera the Flying Beast a quarter century rare. That way they give collectors a chance to own some of these really nostalgic cards in high rarities, right? And they did exactly that in this case. The only thing I think they missed out on was giving us like a quarter century secret rare Gazelle Common. I think that would have been insane. But I think that would have triggered the player base a little too much <laughs> because they hate when Konami like caters towards like the Yugi boomers like myself. Anyway, let's keep going. There's our first super rare. Like this would have been an amazing quarter century secret rare. Again, I know it's not usable, but it's super nostalgic to me, right? Come on, if I get Magicians of Bonds and Unity, yo, and by the way, like the Magicians in this set, goes for insane money okay it goes for like a thousand dollars it's 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 absolutely ridiculous the prices that they're fetching but that's a good thing for me because it makes it more of a chase i think the english one crashed to like 70 dollars or something so ridiculous like that my goodness but that's what happens right like that's when you don't really take care of your product. I, I I, mean, I was completely turned off by the quality of those cards. There was no way I was going to even... <laughs> like, I was not coming close to that card. Right? After I saw the, like, the whitening that they come with right out of the pack. But yeah, I, I saw Casual Yugi stuff open up his box. And he pulled the card that I want. Like, the second card that I want. Which is the Chimera, the Flying Mythical Beast. I'm definitely going to try and buy it off him if I don't pull it here. But if I pull, I'm telling you, man, if I pull Magicians, I'm going to be over the moon. <laughs> and I do have to shout out Cardboard Concierge. You guys saw, like, I'm releasing my sleeves as well as my products with them. And they ended up hooking us up with this box. I called them. I was like, yo, uh, send me one of these boxes. I want to feature on the channel and bring awareness to this amazing product. This change in variety that Konami is offering when it comes to Asian English. And yeah, like basically you'll never see a <laughs> sponsored video from me unless I'm actually genuinely interested in it. Here we have just a super rare. Nothing here. Please, man, give me a card that I really want. 
I barely open stuff, like, just reward me this once. <laughs> Last time when I pulled the Stardust Man, like, I did not know how hard it was to actually get that damn card. And I believe the ratios are the same as last time. So we're going to be able to get, um, I think, one ultimate rare, one starlight rare, or like quarter century. And then there's, I don't remember. There's, I think, one secret rare as well. But so far, we haven't pulled anything. What is going on? There's a super rare. Like, this card is so beautiful, man. I love when they don't... Um, like hollow for the character makes them pop so much. It's just classy, you know, it's a classy way of doing it. Again, shout out to Cardboard Concierge. Check them out. You can use my code strictly five, get 5% off. You can try to pull the magicians of Bonds and Unity. And if you do pull it, hit me up, bro. I will buy it right away from you. Oh, there's the ultimate rare. And it is Emperor Charles the Great. I'm not sure if that's any good, to be honest. But it's beautiful, man. Look at this quality. Wow. The texture feels incredible. Let me put this in my sleeve. All right. So here's a sneak peek of the second colorway. This is the light blue arcane sleeves. You can check them out. When they release on strictlysealed.com as well as Cardboard Concierge. Check that out. Insane. Look at that. That's the first pull so far. Oh, there it is. Please. Oh, it's a black. Oh, yo, what? Yo, this pop is crazy. Yo, I don't even mind this, okay? Like, I don't mind retrain chimeras, bro. I don't, like, I wish it was bon Magicians of Bonds and Unity or, like, the original chimera, but this is not bad. At least it's not, like, some random modern meta card, man. Like, I, I don't mind this. This is beautiful. Look at the pop on this. Yeah, this thing is bananas. Look at that. Let me pull up the purple sleeves for this. This deserves it. All right. Boom. Stay tuned, guys. I'm super hyped about these releases. Next, I think we have a secret rare left. Man, I'm kind of disappointed it's not the damn <laughs> magicians, man. Like, we were... We <laughs> when I pulled the Stardust, I was so blown away. <laughs> Oh, there's Visa's um, Emery Tara. But look, look at the hollow foil, man. The OCG is so lucky. Why can't we get this type of quality on our side, man? Such a damn shame. The rare. And also, I, I also really like the fact that they're not just loading this set with hollow foils like how they did with like modern sets nowadays like they're being a lot more selective and it feels a lot more rewarding to pull a hollow nowadays here we have gazelle see this in quarter century imagine this in quarter century secret rare. like oof like that that would be insane like that would be the collector card in the ocg they actually got this as like a secret rare, like a prismatic secret rare. It was the best card in Metal Raiders, like the reprint set Metal Raiders, not like the TCG Metal Raiders. We only got it as like a common, unfortunately. The highest rarity for this um, still stands as like the legendary collection Yugi's World. That one was a super rare. I thought and I hoped that the Asian English would eclipse it, but unfortunately that one will stay as like the best <laughs> the best gazelle king of mythical beasts unfortunately i would have loved for it to get debunked mm. 
Bear from it. That one would have been an amazing quarter century as well. And I know the, the player base is like flaming me right now. They're, they're like, what do you mean waste a spot for these stupid cards? Hey, I don't play the game. Don't blame me, okay? <laughs> I, I'm just... <laughs> I'm just a fan of the old school Duel Monsters cards and I would love to see them in new high rarities, especially since they didn't get that treatment upon their first release. There's uh, the Ultra Rare. Put that there. Not even going to bother sleeping, to be honest. And then... There's another Rare. And we're down to the last two packs. There's the other Ultra. And there's the Rare. Yeah, so you only get one Ulti and then one Quarter Century. Quite conservative in terms of like the Hollow Foils, but I don't think that's, that's too bad. You know, like it's a... Uh, it, it makes the pull like just that much more worth it. So yeah, pretty badass. Happy to pull this one. Wish it was Magicians of Bonds and Unity. And yeah, stay tuned for the upcoming Arcane release. These are going to be the new sleeves coming out for Strictly Sealed brand. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe. Comment down below what your favorite card from this set is. I know it flopped on the TCG side. Hopefully it does better. And again, Check out CardboardConcierge.com. Use code Strictly5. You can get 5% off anything on the website. They have singles, sealed, as well as my products eventually. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.